In a standard NASCAR race, cars turn left, counterclockwise, around an oval. Engineer Steve Hogler of Joe Gibbs Racing explained how cars are reconfigured to twist and turn both ways for a road course like the Bank of America Roval 400. In past years, we had very uh, specifically designed and built uh, road course cars, different chassis, different parts. Everything top to bottom was pretty much different for uh, a road course for us. The rules for this year, NASCAR says you'd have to run these parts for an intermediate track. You have everything kind of set up asymmetrically so that you can turn to the left as the best you can, but a road course, you need everything a lot more symmetric. So you could turn both ways. How is the Charlotte road course different from other road courses around the country? It's a bit of a unique challenge uh, in a couple aspects. The, the banking loads, you know, we run on the oval track way higher than you'd have at a normal road course. So there, there's some challenges there with you know, not letting your car bottom out. And then the other big thing that we've we've all fought through in the industry is they have the, the turtles, the infamous turtles at, at Charlotte Road Course. They have these blue curbs in different parts of the uh, track to stop the cars from driving in different areas and they're tall. And so that when you hit those, it's really a violent event on the uh, chassis and the suspension parts. Our biggest challenge is trying to design the suspension geometry and everything so we could do a little bit better job than everybody else. That's what it's all about, you know, seeing that checkered flag.